guys, we're gonna look at Getting Older by Billy Alice. Um, the song, we have this one basic chord progression which just repeats throughout the whole song. And I just wanna work the capo for the song since we just have two bar chords. So let's go for two bar chords. Uh, let's take a risk and play two bar chords. Even if you can't, you can just play bar chords which are always the big options out there for you guys. So let's get started for the song. Uh, we have a B flat chord which is muted on the E, one on the A, three on the D, three on the G, three on the B, muted high E string. Let me know if you have any doubt regarding the chord phrase. Now if you want to play a B flat 5, which is a power chord, you're basically just hitting the A, D, G string. So, thump, I'm sorry, index, ring, pinky, that's it. And keep the other string muted. Then we have a G minor chord, which is basically barring the whole third fret. And then I have fifth fret on the A and D. So, third fret bar and an E minor chord. So G minor, three five five three three three. Then we have D minor, which is mute mute open second third second. Then we have A minor, which is mute open second second first open. Then we have an E flat chord, but why not a open chord or a close position chord, but not a bar one. We have this D major chord, right? We're gonna bring it one fret up, and we're gonna add the pinky on the fifth fret of the D string. So pinky on fifth fret of the D string. We have third fret on the G, fourth fret on the B and third fret on the high E. That's an E flat major chord. Now the chord progression for the whole song starts off with a B flat, then a D minor, then a G minor, then an A minor, then G minor, then a D minor, then a E flat for two bars. Again an E flat. So with the string band what I'm doing is after each down, as soon as I do the dance stroke, I just keep my palm on the string. And the downs are actually not loud. I mean, they are not actually long, but they are more of like a short tap. It's very short. See that? And I'm also focusing on hitting the top string, not this high E and P. That's the reason if you play power chord for the song, it's gonna sound pretty well. See that? Power chord. Doesn't make a huge difference, so you can just play power chords, uh, easy option out there for you guys. So, we're going for 8 dance on each chord, no matter what the chord is. So, we start with the B flat chord, down, 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 D minor, G minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, A minor, G minor, D minor, E flat. Again, E flat. And just repeat and uh, just goes back and forth for the whole song. One thing you just gonna keep in mind is E flat chord goes for two bar, which means you're gonna be playing the string panel 16 times total on the E flat. And that's it for the whole song, guys. I mean, for this video, guys. Um, make sure you check out the channel playlist. Uh, I've been working out lately right now at midnight just to cover this album for you guys. And tomorrow, basically, I'm gonna cover the whole song, I mean the whole album on the ukulele. Today was for guitar. So check it out, drop me one of these so that you can actually promote this video to other people so that they can watch it. And subscribe me. Uh, bye.